Today is January 12th, 2021. This is the DevSync for Tuesday. Um, let's get started. Uh, we'll start with Chris, because he's got a double report to make. Uh, you can out today, so I'll be making this report for him, but we're working on kind of the same thing. So uh, I got my R5 board um, up and working today. That's one thing I did. And I'm working with Ken on the microphone issue. Um, right now, my R5 board is running the latest. Well, it was running last night's Panacore build with a two-file patch from Ken that basically restarts the mic whenever we encounter um, the issue. Um, and it's been running, my device has been running for a few hours now without issue. Um, in fact, I've also uh, fixed the performance of the wake word tagger today. And well, I'm tagging my wake word. <laughs> it, it constantly makes my device go off. So uh, um, I think we're in good, we're in a good place with the, uh, with the patch. Um, and as far as Ken goes, he implemented the patch um, and he and I are going to talk. It's, it's kind of a hack right now just to see if the idea works. And it looks like it does. I like this run overnight and make sure. Um, but if this patch is working, then we just need to clean up the code that he put in and, um, and make it um, official. So I also submitted a PR today. Um, because this is working, and I, I kind of moved off of the uh, of the device for a while and started working on the um, wake word stuff again. I have a PR out there that for my new materialized view that makes the request four times faster, so that's good. Um, so that's out there for Ken, and Ken said he was moving on to the wake word stuff as well, unless something else comes up with the device. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Are we are we benchmarking the full interaction so that we can look and see where we can start trimming latency? Not yet. Right now, we're just trying to get it to work. <laughs> okay. That'll be the next step. Okay. Uh, Gez, how's it going? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Um... We, I, I wrote a blog post yesterday unintentionally. Um, I had a rant in the community. And um, so uh, basically um, someone did a bit of work contributing um, translations to Lingua Franca, but um, took some stuff from a third party website, uh, which basically means that we can't use any of their work. Um, and so that really sucks for them. Uh, uh, sucks for everyone, really. So, um, had a discussion about how you shouldn't be able to copyright a language, and you know, everyone had a big uh, was was not happy about it, um, and so decided that we should a say that and b try and make that as explicit as possible to people before they try and contribute to the to the project, um, so that we don't have it happen again. Um, so this is also a if anyone watches like don't don't try and contribute stuff that is not your own explicitly your own um other than that uh created um uh changed the mark two skill to remove all the listener stuff that ken has sort of thought might be an issue but um even if it's not we we do want to remove it out of there because we're going to shift it into the into directly into core and the GUI framework, um, which should improve the responsiveness of it. So you know, between when you say the wake word and when it starts showing the little animation, um, that should speed up. Um, so I've got all the pieces of that ready. I just need to pull it all together into an image to, to physically test. Um, and published a video. Uh, one of the one of our stratus videos around reviewing prs to um try and encourage and help people to you know help us out by reviewing new features um that may not be the priority for the internal team but that the community really want and so if we can if we can get help and and have trusted people reviewing those um then we'll be able to get those in more quickly um and 
uh, yeah, helped a number of people out with their variety of projects. <laughs> Sounds like you've been busy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great. Um, so what's next with the, um, as far as the image that we're putting on the Mark II dev kits? Uh, it sounds like uh, all three of you are moving on to other things at this point. Um, so does that mean that it's solid enough to, to, to use? So there's a couple of things. Well, so there's the audio stuff. Um, and if we've got that clicked, then that's, a, you know, a very big step forward. Were you going to say something about that, Chris? Yeah, it even works on first boot. So we don't have the first boot problem oh. anymore either. Great. Um, so. I think there's polishing still to do, but I think it's in a demoable state now. Um, so I think we should probably consider doing a demo um, as soon as we're, we're sure that um, the Ken's changes are in, in the image. Um, you know, because I've been interacting with mine all day and uh, had zero problems with it. So um, on the Wi-Fi front, there's still a bit of work to do. So um, the way that we test for an internet connection in the onboard Wi-Fi setup process to show the onboard Wi-Fi setup process um, is probably uh, is probably detecting the access point that Panacore creates and assuming that that is an internet connection. Um, and so that's why that screen is not showing up at the moment, um, we think. Uh, but I need to go back and forth with Panacore a bit more on that. Um, that was from a chat with Blue Systems. Um, they're also seeing um, Aditya has been doing some work on the on the pairing skill um, to to uh, um, improve it in line with um, with what uh, Derek's designs have been, um, and the Open Voice um, operating system OBOS, formerly Microsoft OS, um, are, are basically taking the, the same kind of path. Um, but they use uh, Bellina Wi-Fi. Anyway, they, they're using the same sort of uh, same sort of things, and they're, they're taking a lot of the work that we're doing now and, and using that as well. Um, uh, but one of the issues that they that they have raised is the currently the way that Microsoft Core when, when Microsoft Core detects that it's not paired, it basically just emits this fake STT message as if a, a user had said pair my device and then treat that triggers the intent in the pairing skill to, to pair the device. Um, and they've been having some trouble with the fact that, it, that that's just constantly happening while you're trying to, while you're trying to pair the device and, and uh, the way that that's triggering that intent and it's kind of messing with the, um, with the UI for that skill. Um, my assumption is that that is just a very, like the quickest way that it got implemented three or four years ago and has never been changed since. Um, it seems like a, you know, a pretty hacky way to do it and something that we really don't need to do. So um, I was going to uh, have a look at how we can improve that. Um, uh, so there's a few things there's a few things left in the startup process that you know would, yeah, would certainly not be a production system correctly initially. What was uh, that? Sorry, my screen does not orient correctly on first boot. Um, oh really? Yeah, I still get the um, like it's standing on on and vertically, and um, and my screen turns Ooh. off after a few minutes, which is the other. I know we've, you know we've talked about it, and I think. Oh yeah. I think they're aware of it. It must be some some kind of power save mode they're working in, but um, yeah, yeah, it's just like the default, you know, like um, power save mode. Um, so uh, they obviously and, just haven't gotten in and deactivated if, it. If, if you tap the screen twice, it comes back on. So um, I have found that. Uh, so I just keep tapping my screen. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I think we're we're in a demoable state, but maybe not mm. quite a demoable state. Mm. I guess I'll come uh, to... Yeah, so that's that's where I think we're at too. Okay, great. Uh, well then, we'll talk about that some more. Uh, 
probably tomorrow uh, in terms of priorities. Um, but yeah, continue on with the wake word stuff. We need to get that to a point where we can really make the current wake word solid. So we need to get that process uh, finished off. OK, great. Uh, and uh, Derek. Yeah, so well, I'll add my two cents on on uh, what I think we need to do. Um, and some of this is, like you said, we could discuss is like what's acceptable for the dev kit. But as soon as you can get it, so Josh and I can boot it and it just works, which I'm not there yet. You know, I mean, I could do the patch, but I think it's best I just wait until it's an actual. Um, then we can put it. Then Josh and I can put it through some paces, and we'll give you like a whole. Like I have a ton of stuff uh, that I'd like to see fixed. Like things like the GUI volume not syncing with the uh, mechanical, the button volume, um, the, the sound, it's way too loud at startup. Um, you know, we got to go through a lot of the, the audio prompts. You know, we haven't really um, looked at the non happy path stuff um, and get those new Kusol. We got all these new Kusol recordings uh, that, are, that are good, get them all in there. Um, so, like, you know, when you put in your password wrong and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> we haven't scrutinized any of that stuff. Yeah, also um, the skills are a little behind. I think Gez and I need to go through a, a process to get the skill up to the most recent um, commit because some of the screen, uh, the GUI fixes I did in Hawaii are not there unless you do a git pull. So I think we just need to think, we need to spend a little time getting the uh, marketplace stuff up to the latest revisions for some of the gooey things but yeah i mean i would say like you guys you know once you can get to a point where josh and i can boot it you guys can go on doing stuff and then we can make a list and decide you know what what is uh important right now and what can wait um that's my two cents on that um <clears throat> so yeah today i was basically still working on, on some of the mechanical stuff I, um had a, a few tweaks I was still doing on the fan and then um, noticed some issues with the camera. Um, just I was not quite getting the field of view of the camera. Um, it was being blocked by the housing to a certain degree. So had to update that. And then uh, I got some more parts. So I put to, together um, another one of the, the SJ230 laser cut housings. And so, yeah, I'm just waiting for an image. Um, and I started prepping to take some photos for the um, for marketing for the dev kits uh, for CrowdOx and such. Johnny gave me a call earlier about that. And so I got some stuff put together to do that um, tomorrow. So we'll have some, some nice photos for that. Uh, I'm actually going to try to shoot a video showing some differences between the enhanced kit and the um, the basic kit that doesn't include the acoustic chamber and um, uh, you know the di you know, if we can actually capture in a video it's not going to be perfect but the audio difference um, you know, might help sell that uh, so Johnny pitched me on that so I'll try and get that done tomorrow. Yeah, we're also talking about you know the fact that one's going to look nice and neat and clean like a la my desk where i've got you know the thing in a nice housing and then this other thing which is like wires and crap hanging out all over the place and you know enhanced dev kit is worth a very small amount of money right yeah i'll, I'll assemble yeah I'll, I'll just try and get as much as i can and i'll assemble one with um you know with everything just strewn about on the table um you know the, the regular kit and then yeah we'll have that to compare so all right one of the things worth noting is that um i noticed i switched the speaker out on my r4 board and still had the static key problem i have not had any static key problems on my r5 board so i don't know if there's something you know wrong with my r4 board but um it shouldn't be a concern because we're on r6 now <laughs> um but <laughs> Uh, so like, what, worth no, worth worth mentioning. I haven't seen heard any audio issues since I moved to my R5 board. So it's 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 likely not the speaker drivers that was the problem, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's yeah, that, that's one of the reasons I asked you for a, a second uh, speaker set was so that I could plug it in and see if that changed anything. And it didn't yeah. change anything on that R4 board. So cool. Okay. Cool. Cool.
Okay. Uh, yeah, it might be worth um, sending them back to Kevin so that we can take a look at it. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll ask him about that. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Josh just stepped away. Oh, oh there he is. Uh, I have an SJ201 V5 board. Gez sent, has sent me a link. I am building things now and will be bringing it up as soon as I have a, as soon as I can. So that is that. And my children went to school today and that was very happy. All right. And Josh, just based on the conversation, I'll send you a new link in like an hour or something. That's fine. It'll take me a little while. I'm going to assemble better. it. I'm going to assemble it twice once quick and dirty and get it all working. And then once I'm going to photograph every step, so. Okay. All right. Uh, well, thanks everybody. Um, will, is there any other topics that we need to discuss? Oh, I just, just, uh, when, when will that patch be in the, are they doing like nightly builds? You think that patch will be in tomorrow? Uh, it looks like, I look. I was looking at the um, CI pipeline, and it looks like it's building at the moment. So, oh, cool. Um, well, soon yeah. as yes, yeah, soon as there's an image you, that I can just download and should just work, let me know, and I'll. Yeah. yeah. My, my guess is this image is building right now. Should be that image. Sweet. Cool. Okay. Anything else? Oh, Chris, if you can forward me the patch, though, I'd be curious to see what what it is. Yeah, I'll send that on to you. OK. All right, well, thanks, everybody. Um, as I mentioned earlier this week, I'm going to be pretty low availability for the rest of the week. Um, I will try to make the dev syncs. But if I am not able to make it, then I will appoint somebody in my stead to, uh, to handle things. Josh has volunteered. Um, I don't know if that happens. I don't know if that if we'll be able to record them or not. Um, but uh, just giving you a heads up there. So, uh, all right. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks, everybody. We'll talk again tomorrow.